I work for Data Track International. I will tell you first, I'm a horseman that uses technology, so I'm not really a lecturer. Um, but I will try to tell you what we do and how we gather our data. What we're looking at is horses, gate analysis that we analyze at the ready to run or breeze up sales in the States, here in Europe, in uh, New Zealand and Australia, and how we collect our data and, and how we find what we think are the good prospects out of those two-year-old sales. All right. <clears throat> We first started gathering data in 2000 using this model, and all we really looked at was stride length. That's all the company were with, that's what they wanted, they thought stride length was the key. So after doing that for two or three years, we started collecting data at Keeneland Racetrack for six meets, eight meets, so almost four years of data at Keeneland. And we would put dots on horses and try to find more than stride length. Right, so what we had found is, and I'm going to show you some dots on horses here in a minute, is that 75% of the horses that came in first, second, or third had these 10 or 12 numbers about the same. So we thought, okay, that's a great tool. We then took the same ideas and dots on horses and went back to the two-year-old uh, data that we found, the video, and found that when those horses graduate and go on from the two-year-old sales, uh, later on as two-year-olds to three-year-olds, most of those horses that had those good numbers were stakes caliber horses, which is what everybody wants to buy. All right? Once we did that, we were able to take those the following years and start analyzing that. So we moved away from stride length and got started getting a lot more numbers. And now if I can see if this will work. All right. So this is just one of a few slides I'm going to show you. We get dots on every part of the horse across the frame. So we're looking at length of the horse, angles, signal distances, even from knees to ankles, and so forth. So it's not just one variable on a horse. We're looking at many. And we do this for every horse that breezes. Here's another one. Again, push, thrust from behind, length of the horse while they're, what we would say, all out. One of the things I know that separates kind of what we do from what maybe other people do is we look at stride length in relation to body size. And that's the red dot here down to the red dot here. That's what we call the height of the horse. And you get the length of the horse. Because if all you were ever doing was counting strides or looking at high speed video to get um, however many steps a horse would take in a, in a 100 meters, you would only be looking for the 17 hand Zenyatas of the world. She's a great horse. But her body to stride length ratio was good, not great, but she was a very, very big horse. So we wanted to move away from finding only horses with stride length. That a horse that breezes well within himself or herself is a good horse. So that's how we started putting dots on horses and moving that along. All right, so the way we do that is we have a fixed camera and we get one or two strides. We don't pan, we don't have 250 frame camera per second, we don't need that. We've got a powerful programming tool that allows us to do that. So when the horse runs through this box, I can then take the stride length from here and then move it vertical and I can get all the segmental distances and angles within that horse. All right? So this is a horse going across that box. We usually get one to two strides. So with all the angles and segmental distances of horse, we're going to get about 40 to 42 numbers per stride. We're going to get two strides. We're going to see if they're repeatable. Again, height, length, <coughs> ground time, air time, distance between back feet, distance between the two front feet. We also look at what we call stride miles per hour, which we can get right here, versus work miles per hour. In the States, and now they just had two horses work in New Zealand the last two days, under 10 flat. So 10 flat is 45 miles per hour. So if you have a horse that goes in front of our camera at 45, 45 miles per hour, that's a one to one ratio. That's very, very good for us. But the 10 flat doesn't really matter. If a horse goes 11 flat and goes in front of our camera at 41.5 miles per hour, that's also a one to one ratio. Again, that's very good. So a lot of people, and Jeff knows this, and other people have gone to the sales is, 
speed cells. And so a horse that works 10 flat, everyone's going to look at. But for our purposes and our gathering, we really don't need that. We just need a good universal mover across the screen. So this is one, you'll see another screen here in a minute of how many dots we're actually looking at. So, but this is one of the things. Feet distance, ground time, air time. <coughs> All right. Another thing that we look at is the efficiency of the horse. <laughs> so here, the red dot is the elbow of the horse. The blue and the green dot are the knees. And so we're looking for efficiency of motion. And so if the knees usually come above the, the elbow, that horse is really climbing, wasted efficiency, and although it may have a good stride length or a good breeze fig, it's not going to get it. So then again, this is part of what we're looking at. The end result would be this. Okay, so again, height of the horse from where the red dot would meet the black dot. Length of the horse. Segmental distances and angles all across there on every frame. There, 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 all the way across. So all these numbers we put together for what we call a breeze fig. It's like a buyer number or a time form rating that you have here in, in uh, Europe. And based on that breeze fig number, it allows us to then go the next step to analyze horses. Again, if, let's say we have a sample of 100 horses in a sale. <laughs> we're going to get numbers on all 100 horses. Based on the breeze fig, internal numbers, speed, everything else, we're going to like about 60. <coughs> all right? So out of those 60, we're going to get to something like this. And this is a few of them. You get the time, you get stride miles per hour, work miles per hour, stride length. We get push or thrust from behind. My stamina score, which is really the two miles per hour looking at one another. This is maybe eight or 10 of the 40 numbers we're looking at. This number right here to this breeze fig number is what we like. The par will be the average for that sex, so Colts at that distance. In the States, we do both 200, 400 meters, two, one furlong, two furlongs. Everything here in Europe is always 200 meters. Everything in the Southern Hemisphere is 200 meters, but we here in the, here in the States, sorry, we don't do that. So we're not going to mix Phillies and Colts. So the Phillies will have a different number than the Colts would. We also then rank them in groups. A group one horse is a horse that is above average on all our numbers, stride, time, work, thrust, efficiency. Those are where, I think it's what, 68% of the stakes horses that graduate from material sale will be group one. Group twos are the ones that just barely miss on one. Maybe a little short stride, a little short thrust. The peak picture really helps in the live stream. Sorry. People see it in the no, I mean, if you, uh, you can, it just goes back and forth because I'm going to do the videos. I'll just, just, okay. leave, just so they can see it. All right, sorry, that's good, you got it. Maybe stay here. Yep, we'll do. Um, so again, I'm sorry. So we're looking at breeze figs in groups. So group two is where 30% of the stakes horses. So now in groups one and two, we're talking about 90% of the stakes horses that go on and do well. So again, we can narrow those down just on numbers. And we've gathered a lot of data doing that. Group three, there's a few stakes horses, not a lot. Group four, there's maybe 0.4%. And I'll show you the one we missed because everybody misses one, if not two. Next slide. Yes. Uh, okay. So this would be a breeze fig sheet that we sell in the States. So again, you got your time, you have your stride length, average stride length, your breeze fig. The par is, again, for that sex on that distance, group ones, ones with stars, this is obviously our consigners in the states. And so we're looking at these numbers all the way across the board. So we sell this data, but this also allows us as bloodstock agents to go find good horses. And so again, out of 100 horses, we like 60. The next thing we do after this is we then do slow motion analysis. Horse tech is great, numbers are great, but you've got to have some horse sense. So you want to make sure they move well. And that's what we're going to look at next. After we get the numbers on all horses, we then, what we would say, use horse sense. 
you're a horseman, you want to go look at the horses. But before you're going to go look at all 60, we're going to narrow that list down again in slow motion. All right, here's a horse that had a very, very good long stride, moved well, not a lot of high knee action, worked quick. But there's something about this horse that maybe if you all want to see if, if anyone wants to jump up and suggest what they see. Not you, Jeff. Um, okay, there's the start of this breeze. So that's, that's the furlong marker. This horse is what we call disunited cross catering and cross firing. So lands right, left behind, and left, right, and front. Does everybody see that? So still doing it. We just passed the halfway point of the work. Still doing it. Right, left, left, right. Now you all can slow down races on your DVR nowadays and watch them, and you will rarely, if ever, see a horse do this. We'll see it at the two-year-old sales for maybe two or three horses for three or four strides. This horse has now done it almost the entire way. So again, he lands right, left, left, right, does it again. Speed up here. So there's right, left, left, right. Right here he switches. Finally changes over. Here's left, right, left, right, left, right. This is one full stride out of a complete furlong work. And there's the end. Nine and four. This is the green monkey. $16 million horse that we failed for being disunited all the way across the way. Now that's a lot of money spent, but again, you can't, obviously we're at the Horse Tech Conference, you can't just go with numbers. So after you get numbers, we then do the slow motion. And it's worthwhile to do that. All right, here's another horse. Had a pretty good stride, good breeze fig number, but your horse sense tells you numbers aren't everything, we should go and see what we see. So after you see this horse works two furlongs in 21, this horse, this sorry, 21.3, this horse worked on March 1st of his two-year-old year here. He did not get a start until November of his two-year-old year. And after that one start, had a layoff for 14 months, and then he started in January of his four-year-old year. Now this horse was 200 plus thousand dollars and in January of his four-year-old year, he was in a 12-5 claiming race. And this is why. Can you see his outside knee? And so, again, we'd love to say that the numbers show this. This is going to get even worse, if you can think that's possible, when this horse changes leads and watch the left front knee. Do you see the torque that happens here? And unless you're slowing this down, this is very tough to see. And even if you just gathered numbers, that would be tough to see. So this is the next step. So that's, that's one of the things that we're really keen on. So again, 100 horses down to 60 on numbers, 60 down to 40. Then we go look at a horse and we do our biomechanical analysis um, that Bob will talk about, and we also do some cardio scans, but for the gait, this is what we're looking at. I'll jump up and show you what I think is a good moving horse. This would be a horse that I think is a quality mover. Not a lot of torque or anything come around the turn, low mover, not a lot of wasted knee action or paddle, doesn't come very off the ground, made a good lead change at the start of the turn. We'll move forward a little bit and I'll show you that again. So again, we're looking for just good, low, efficient action. So, and that this is, would be an efficient mover. Good change of leads, so all that's good. So that's one of the things after we get our breeze fakes and get our numbers, that's what we do. One of the things that we have found is that using that box to have horses run through is we are very accurate. We've gone out and laid out cones to be 10 feet, 20 feet, up against the rail, further outside of the rail, it doesn't matter to us. 
And a lot of people nowadays are trying to count strides, count frame rate to get that. And I think that's, that's very tough to do. One of the samples I'm going to use is this. All right. Here's a horse that breezed in Arcana this year. And so if you're counting strides and you're looking to start when the horse gets to the 200 meter mark, that's right about there. Okay. Well, was that a step ago, a half a step ago, right there? So again, doing, using the data and gathering the data the way we do it, we feel like we're extremely accurate on stride length, but also, again, the height and, and distance of height and uh, length of the horse. Because with, if you're going to do it that way, then this one's going to be even worse to do. How do you do it when you've got a horse that's this far off the rail? Again, if you're counting strides or only looking at five frames or to measure the rails to do this, your, your data at best is going to be an inaccurate. So that's why, again, we run through the box. We feel like we're extremely good. That's the numbers. The numbers that we've gathered are backed by the daily racing form as a handicapping tool. Um, no other company can say that, that they've got a product that can do that, that have been backed by that. All right. So here's some horses that have come out of the two-year-old sales that we liked based on numbers. All the, most of these are derby horses, pregnant horses. This is the horse that we missed. I'll have another. All right. It was a group four horse, had a short stride. We just, we missed it. If there's agents out there that say they've never missed a horse, they're wrong. But I think there was a lot of other people at this sale that didn't do it. But this horse also breathed on artificial surface and blossomed when on dirt. This is what we now, we can offer to people here, there, online, anywhere, is if you would go out and take a measure of a box and just know that this post or a bush or a shrub is anywhere at the same, if you have those measurements and you take your iPhone and you change it to 60 frames a second and take a video of that horse running through that box, you can email us that video and we'll give you all the stride numbers that, sh that you would need. Now I know there's other products out there, the Equinity and e track model, which are great tools, but those are all after you purchase the horse. Everything we're talking about here is pre-purchase, or if you're looking to buy a horse off the track, we can do this as well. That's it for me. Thank you.